In this video, we're going to talk about complementary and supplementary angles. So what exactly is a complementary angle? Complementary angles are angles that add up to 90. So consider this right triangle. Let's call it triangle ABC. Now, if angle A is 30, then angle C has to be 60. So notice that angle A and angle C are complementary to each other. Angle C is the complement of angle A. Anytime you have two angles that add up to 90, the two angles are complementary to each other. Now the next term you need to be familiar with are supplementary angles. Supplementary angles add up to 180 as opposed to 90. So let's call this A, B, C, and D. Angle ABD, let's say it's 120. So what is the value of angle CBD? If you know ABD and CBD are supplementary. CBD has to be 60 because these two angles have to add up to 180. It turns out that they also form a linear pair. Anytime you have a straight line with two angles, it forms a linear pair, which also adds up to 180. Now let's work on some practice problems. Let's start with this one. Find the supplement of a 55 degree angle. Supplementary angles we know adds up to 180. So to find the other supplement, it's going to be 180 minus 55. So if you want to subtract this mentally, you could break up 55 into 50 and 5. Now 180 minus 50, think of 18 minus 5, that's 13. So 180 minus 50 is 130. And 130 minus 5 is 125. So that's the supplement of a 55 degree angle. It's a 125 degree angle. Number 2. What is the complement of a 64 degree, 26 minutes, 37 seconds angle? Now to find the complement, we need to subtract that angle from 90. So how can we do this? If we're doing 90 minus 64, that would be a piece of cake. But we have an angle in DMS, degrees, minutes, and seconds. So how can we perform the operation? Well, let's change 90 into a DMS value. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to borrow a 1 from 90. So 90 is equivalent to 89 degrees, and 1 degree is 60 minutes. So 89 degrees in 60 minutes is basically equivalent to 90 degrees. Now, we do have a value in the seconds column. So therefore, we need to borrow a minute from 60. So 89 degrees and 60 minutes is equivalent to 89 degrees, 59 minutes, and 60 seconds. So now we could take this value and subtract it by that number. Eighty nine minus sixty four, that's twenty five. Fifty nine minus twenty six, we know nine minus six is three, five minus two is three, and sixty minus thirty seven. That's 23. So the answer is 25 degrees, 33 minutes, and 23 seconds. So that's the complement of this angle. Number three, one of two complementary angles is 20 degrees larger than the other. What is the measure of the two angles? So let's say the two angles, let's give it a letter, angle A and angle B. If they're complementary to each other, that means that they add up to 90 degrees. Now, one of the angles is 20 degrees larger than the other one. So that means A is B plus 20. So let's say if B is 30, A would be 50. If B is 40, A would be 60. So they differ by 20. So we have two equations, and we have two variables. How can we 
find the value of a and b. So what I'm going to do is subtract both sides by b in this equation. If I do so, I'm going to have a minus b is equal to 20. So now I have a system of two equations. And I'm going to solve it by the elimination method, also known as the addition method. So if we add the two equations, b and negative b adds up to 0. a plus a is 2a. 90 plus 20 is 110. So to find the value of a, I need to divide both sides by 2. 100 divided by 2 is 50. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 110 divided by 2 is 55. So that's the value of angle A. Now to find angle B, we know that these two angles have to add up to 90. So B is going to be 90 minus 55. 90 minus 50 is 40. 40 minus 5 is 35. So angle B is 35. So now we have the measure of the two angles. So 55 plus 35 adds up to 90, and 55 is 20 units higher than 35. Let's try this one, number 4. Two complementary angles exist in a 2 to 3 ratio. What is the measure of the larger angle? So let's draw a picture. We can use the right triangle as an example, just like we did in the beginning of the video. And let's say angle B is the right angle, which means that angle A and C, they have to be complementary to each other. All three angles of a triangle must always add to 180. So if angle B is 90, A and C have to add up to 90, which means A and C are complements of each other. Now we could say that angle A is 2x and angle C is 3x. And in that way, they exist in a 2 to 3 ratio. So angle A plus angle C have to add up to 90. And angle A is 2x, angle C is 3x. And so 2x plus 3x is 5x. So now we need to divide 90 by 5. Now, if you wish to perform the division mentally, here's what you can do. Think of 90 as being 50 plus 40. And we need to divide each number by 5. 50 divided by 5 is 10. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So 90 divided by 5 is 10 plus 8 or 18. So that's the value of x. But our goal is to find the measure of the larger angle, which is angle C, and that's 3x. So that's going to be 3 times 18 which, if you don't know what 3 times 18 is, you can break up 18 into being 10 plus 8. 3 times 10 is 30, 3 times 8 is 24, and 30 plus 24 is 54. So that's 3 times 18. So angle C is 54 degrees, which means that angle A is 2x, 2 times 18, that's 36. And as you can see, these two numbers, 36 plus 54, adds up to 90. But the answer to the problem, the measure of the larger angle, is 54. Number 5. One of two supplementary angles is 12 more than 3 times the value of the other. Calculate the measure of the smaller angle. So let's say x is the first angle and y is the second one. The fact that these two angles are supplementary means that they add up to 180. Now, one of the two angles is 12 more than 3 times the other. So 3 times the other, let's say if x is the other one, that will be 3x. And then it's 12 more than that, so 3x plus 12. Our goal is to calculate the measure of the small angle. So we're going to find the value of x and y. And then we can see that y is going to be the larger angle. x is the small angle. So our goal is to find x. Now, in this problem, I'm going to solve using substitution instead of elimination. So I'm going to replace y with 3x plus 12. So now we have the expression x plus 3x plus 12 is equal to 180. And x plus 3x is 4x. Next, we need to subtract both sides by 12. 180 minus 12 is 168. 
and then we could divide both sides by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So 168 divided by 4 is 42. And so that's the measure of the smaller angle. To find the measure of the larger angle, take this number and plug it into this expression. Or you could do 180 minus 42, which is going to be 138. So that's the measure of the larger angle, but the answer to the problem is 42, which is what we wanted. Challenge problem number six. The supplement of an angle is four times the complement of the angle. Find the measure of the supplement of the angle. So feel free to pause the video and work on this problem. Now what we need to realize is that there's three variables. The first one is the measure of the angle. The second one is the measure of the complement of the angle. And the last one is the measure of the supplement of the angle. So what we need to do is assign three variables to these three quantities. Let's say A is the measure of the angle, C is for the complement, S is for the supplement. So you can keep track of what's what. Now, the first sentence says the supplement of an angle is four times the complement of the angle. So we can say that S is equal to 4C. S is four times the value of the complement. Now, there are two other equations that we can write. If you want to solve a system of three variables, you need three equations. Now, the complement of angle A is going to be 90 minus A, because A plus C has to add up to 90. And the supplement and the angle have to add up to 180. So the supplement is going to be 180 minus the angle. So now we have the three equations that we need. So let's replace S with 180 minus A. And let's replace C with 90 minus A. So now we can have a single equation that contains only one variable. So now all we got to do is just some math. Let's distribute the 4 to 90 minus A. So 4 times 90, that's 360 because 4 times 9 is 36. And then we have 4 times negative A, which is negative 4A. And now let's subtract both sides by 180. And simultaneously, let's add 4A to both sides. So on the left, we have negative A plus 4A, which is 3A, and 360 minus 180, that's 180. So next, let's divide both sides by 3. So A is 180 divided by 3. Now, 18 divided by 3 is 6, so 180 divided by 3 is 60. So the angle has a measure of 60 degrees. So I'm going to put that here. A is equal to 60. The complement is 90 minus 60, so the complement is 30. The supplement is 180 minus 60, which is 120. And we can see that our answers are correct because the supplement is indeed four times the value of the complement. 30 times 4 is 120. And so that's the end of this video. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to solve geometry problems that are associated with complementary and supplementary angles.